Vitiligo is an acquired depigmentation disorder of the skin, the most common skin pigmentation disorder in man, affecting between half and 2% of the world's population, or as many as 65 million people worldwide, affecting all races, skin types, and both sexes. Vitiligo is characterised by a chronic and progressive loss of function of the epidermal melanocytes, or pigmentation-producing skin cells. Melanocytes are found in the epidermal layer of our skin and in the hair follicles and produce melanin, the pigment that gives colour and protection to our skin and hair. What causes the loss of melanocytes in vitiligo is still not well understood and many hypotheses have been proposed. Affected vitiligo skin is characterised by the presence of chalk or milk white patches in which the hair may also be white. Patches are usually well demarcated and enlarged centrifugally in size with time. Vitiligo is traditionally separated into two types, non-segmental or generalised vitiligo and segmental vitiligo that present distinctive clinical features and causes. The most common theory for non-segmental vitiligo is called the autoimmune theory, in which the immune system develops antibodies which react against and attack the body's own melanocytes. The destruction of epidermal melanocytes in vitiligo leads to the lack or total depletion of melanin, which leaves the affected area depigmented. Non-segmental vitiligo is the most common form of the disease, 85 to 90 percent of cases overall, and presents with symmetrically distributed lesions over the body. Segmental vitiligo is less common and is characterised by unilateral distribution of the lesions, an early onset and rapid spread. Many interventions are available to manage the disease. However, phototherapy, in the form of narrowband UVB, is currently seen as the most effective therapy available to reactivate the melanocyte, in essence, a method to stimulate the repigmentation in vitiligo skin. The presence of pigmented hair in the depigmented areas of skin in vitiligo patients is a good sign for the chance to start the repigmentation process. This finding signifies the existence of functioning or residual melanocytes and melanoblasts, new shoots of melanocytes in the proximity of hair follicles. Within hair follicles, one finds a melanocyte reservoir containing melanocyte stem cells. These melanocytes can be activated to maturity with the assistance of frequent doses of phototherapy to give off a powerful signal to start the process of repigmentation in the skin of vitiligo patients. When phototherapy is given to the skin, it activates the melanocyte stem cells located in the reservoir and they begin to migrate out of the hair follicle to reach the upper level of the depigmented skin and in transition become fully functional melanocytes to repigment the skin. When the melanocytes reach the epidermis, they are able to produce melanin and in vitiligo start the process of repigmentation. As revolutionary as phototherapy is in initiating the process of repigmenting skin of vitiligo patients, there is a significant drawback. Patients require continued treatment of this intense UV therapy at least two or three times a week for many months. By exposing these patients, who already have little photoprotection due to the lack of melanin, it is believed that skin damage, photoaging and cellular damage may occur, posing a risk of UV damage to these patients. This is where Clinuvel's first-in-class drug Sines will play an important role. The novel therapy narrowband UVB and clinical response by patients provides an excellent indication that melanocytes are present in the vitiligonous lesions of patients. After years of research, the clinical and academic community and the scientific teams at Clinuvel are well aware that where melanocytes are present, there are melanocortin-1 receptors available and where there are melanocortin-1 receptors, there is an opportunity for Sines to activate the melanocyte. The belief is widely supported that, when administered in the right fashion, Sines will act as a chemical agent to the melanocyte in combination with and after providing the physical stimulant for narrow-band UVB phototherapy.